Hi Forest fans, Max Newton here giving you a quick review on Talk Forest TV of Nottingham Forest losing 3-2 at home to Bournemouth. Um, don't really know what to say about that game. I've seen the, it didn't look like a foul in the ground. Didn't look like a foul on the yellow card in the ground. And uh, saw it on somebody's phone. Kid in front of me showed it me on his phone about five minutes later. Not even a foul, not even a question of being a foul. And yet... You know, we're in the best, best division in the world, best league in the world, all the money, all the VAR, all of that. And yet a referee can make a decision like that to impact the game and impact the league table, impact managers, impact players. And we can see it minutes later in the ground that it's absolute disgrace. The referee is an absolute idiot. I do referee on Sunday and I wouldn't give that. In the ground, you could tell it wasn't a foul. I don't know what the referee's thinking about. Absolutely unbelievable. And you know what? It came from the referee bottling a handball decision a few minutes, er well, seconds earlier, um, because he didn't give that. That led to the break. I'm not seeing the handball. He had two handballs. Um, looked pretty handball from where we were sat, although we were a bit far away. Um, absolutely appalling. And you know what? You could tell the ref was going to be an idiot from early on when uh, Nico went in, won a header, and the Bournemouth player's boo was flying around his head and Nico's on the floor and he gives a free kick to, to Bournemouth that they nearly score from. Abs absolutely unbelievable. In this day and age, Premier League football, Premier League football, the best league in the world that referee can get away with something like that. And surely like all the people in VAR must be saying to him, mate, mate, you know, they, could say, they could tell him he's got it wrong. They could tell him, they could tell him, mate, it's not a yellow card because the referee in the game, anyway, we've seen it. We've seen that when they when they released the footage of the whichever one it was it was the Liverpool one where they met, where they made the wrong decision. We can see that they're calling it. They're calling the game as they're watching it. So short. So they're they're calling it as they're watching it, and and we saw it. We saw it in that footage that released audio that they're saying yeah both grappling both grappling no foul no foul keep going keep going they will have been going good tackle good tackle carry on and yet the referee chose to give a, a foul and a yellow card and send off a player for second yellow 25 minutes into the game it's just incredible it's absolutely incredible. Not seen referee refereeing decision like that at this level of football since flipping Andalax. And we know what happened to Andalax, don't we? We know what was happening there. It's absolutely diabolical. Absolutely diabolical. Nothing much had happened until then. Forrest actually, you know, created a few chances. Probably should have done better with a Mangala left footed shot. Um, Bournemouth looked really sharp. I thought uh, the movement down. Uh, down our right hand side around the edge of the box looked really good with Slanky and their and their winger Slanky. You know they look sharp, they look fast, but they didn't really test Turner um, apart from the shot that that went wide. And um, you know good good first half performance down to ten men. Excellent cheese and beetroot cobs um, shared with uh, the guy behind us because Anton Connor got stuck on the motorway and couldn't make it. Um, agreed, excellent cheese and beetroot cobs from uh, from Mrs Newton. Uh, and then second half Forest. You know, great goal. Chris Wood, I thought, had an excellent game. Um, fought for everything, won all his headers, held the ball up well. Some good little runs as well and crosses. Um, won the ball, played it into Alanga. Alanga, great finish, great finish. And then they scored a couple of goals after that. Um, it went a bit went a bit quiet. You couldn't see us getting back into the game. But, um, you know, Chris Wood from a corner. Morgan Gibbs-White's corners were excellent today, after one in the first half that didn't beat the first man. Um, and 2-2, two -two, in 2-2, two -two, at that stage, it was all Forest. Um, you know, we had shot cleared off the line, um, you know, nearlies. Again, still some, like, daft decisions made by Elanga and, and other players when you just, like, you know, Murillo, just like play the simple ball. It's a simple ball there, and yet, and then you choose to pick a either needle pass and play it straight to one of their players. So it's a really bad decision making. And then, um, you know, a bit of a sucker punch at the end. You know, another header from Bournemouth. Um, yeah, I don't know. You just think, you just wonder what you know. The goalkeeper's not good enough. 
both goalkeepers aren't good enough. I thought he had the, the, the one in the top corner. Goalkeepers aren't good enough. The central defenders aren't good enough. There's not, none of them at the club are good enough because we can see goals week after week after week from simple crosses and simple headers. And that's what Spurs did to us last week. And that's what um, Bournemouth have done to us today. Yeah, Solanke is good. Billing's good. And they're tall. But our central defenders, they're not big enough. They're not strong enough. They don't want it enough in the air. And... Um, and need to spend, need to sort something out in January. Need a new keeper. Get 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 De Gea in. Get Navas in. You know, Turner he's not good enough, and the Greek guy not good enough. Turner seems to take a, a two steps back before he kicks the ball every time. That's what puts him in trouble because he won't just run onto it and kick it. Um, you know, Morgan Gibbs White I thought played very well. Nico Williams excellent again. Toffolo excellent again. Um, you know, Alanga. Excellent, despite you know make some dodgy decisions. Thought Callum Hudson Odoi was brilliant when he came on, um, but game entirely ruined and the course of the game set by the worst decision I've seen a referee make at this level for a long, long time. It's like League One, National League refereeing decision. Um, they're probably doing them a disservice. It's just absolutely terrible. Referee should hang his head in shame. Um, come on, you heads.